Hi everyone and welcome to the BAPS 2020. This is our fourth one, can you believe that? How soon has that, it's gone so quickly. So what started as an afternoon in a pub, oh shall we do this? And here we are on our fourth event. Really, really appreciate you all taking the time to be with us. I'm really sorry that it's not done in the same way as usual. You know, we're gonna miss those cuddles and those baps that we love to see, whichever way you take that. Um, so I just wanted to say, first of all, can I just say a huge, huge, huge thank you to the team at My Family Our Needs. Because I always feel like I imagine some dads feel on Christmas morning when everyone starts saying to me, oh, thanks, Deb. Oh, this is really good. Oh, this is really great. Oh, you did really well. And I sit there with that look on my face, the same as my husband's on Christmas morning. That's like, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, of course, that's great. So because all the work that goes into this, that makes it what it is, is not what I do. I may help to sort out some categories and I may sort of drag a few people in to be judges and I may help the judges. But the actual hard work that makes the event that you see is done by the team there and especially Talia who is just amazing and also copes with me and without shouting she probably does when she puts the phone down but not actually to me so I really appreciate it and so a huge thank you to them because it wouldn't be the BAPS without them so huge thank you to them a big thank you to our judges because I know how much time and effort you all put in and we do appreciate it I know it's not easy and I know that there's judges who are here on off the fourth year of judging for us now and give up their time and go into the office on a Sunday so that they can read them all and then spend the whole Monday ringing me going oh I can't just choose oh they're all so good and you are you are all very awesome parents and so a huge thank you to the judges and a thanks to the guys who sponsor everything for us and um, what we like to call you all is our bras because of course BAPS need bras and bras for those who don't know is for bloody reliable allies because we all need them it makes our life an awful lot easier so thank you thank you for giving up your time thank you for being involved I've just realized I've got really really red eyes on this and I can promise you I am just tired it's half term as I'm recording this so I've just had to re-record it because my son decided to blow bubbles in the bath behind me. So that wasn't great. You didn't want to hear that. So have a great evening. I'm sorry it's not in reality, but just think how great it's going to be next year. We have the new venue. It's bigger, better than ever, and it's going to be amazing. So huge thanks. Enjoy yourself. Have a drink think at least you're having a drink in your pajamas so it's quite nice have a good evening everyone and i will see you all soon good evening everyone thank you devs for kicking off the night for us and thank you as always for all of your support in pulling the event together well this is a bit different, isn't it? What a tough year it's been. And we are so sad we've not been able to get together and enjoy the night we've all become used to. Just having a little drink and a dance and just taking five minutes out of our normal lives. COVID certainly has an awful lot to answer for, but we will get together next year. We are planning already and we have got some really great things in store for you. So the plans for tonight, as you may have seen, have changed, changed again and changed once more. But there was absolutely no way we were going to cancel it all together after the year we've all had. And I think we all just need a little bit of a break from reality. And I know we've kept you all hanging on far too long to find out who our winners are. I just wanted to say a huge thank you to all of our sponsors. We absolutely couldn't do this without them. And they've all been so very kind and patient <laughs> in allowing us to just get on with it and pull together our ideas and plans for this evening. So thank you so much. I'm going to hand over shortly to our headline sponsor to say a few words and then we're going to kick off the evening with the best use of media category. Now I know we can't all be in the same room together but we are going to be on social media tonight so please share all your photos using the hashtag BAPS Awards. 
Make sure you're sharing your outfits, your decorations, whatever it is you get up to, we'd love to see. So whether you're in your PJs with a cuppa, in your sequins with some bubbles, sit back, relax and enjoy. Lots of love. Hello, my name's Sarah Maguire and I'm delighted that Choice Support is once again sponsoring the BAPS Awards. Let me take just a few minutes to tell you about Choice Support. We're a national charity and we were formed in 1984 and we're here to support people with autism, learning disabilities and mental health needs. We value people for who they are and we expect everyone we support to be respected in society. We employ around 2,800 staff and we support about 2,500 people to live the life that they choose. This year, more than ever, we must do all that we can to celebrate and support the same community. 2020 has been such a hard year for everyone, but it's been particularly hard for children with special needs and disabilities and their families. School activities and cherished routines all disrupted or stopped almost overnight, with parents often left to adapt and carry on, with little or sometimes no support at all. Yet adapt and carry on you have, while still finding the time to tell your stories. In the most challenging of times, we need to make a special effort to remember people who are often marginalised and unheard, and you have all been doing that. Congratulations to all the nominees for this evening uh, of the 2020 BAPS Awards. Society really needs you, and for very long, I hope, may your voices ring loud and true. Bye. My name is Christine McGuinness and it is my absolute pleasure to welcome you all to this year's BAPS Awards 2020. Due to the current pandemic we couldn't all be together to celebrate under one roof but I'm thrilled to be able to be with you this evening to present an award. Just like many of you watching right now I too have children with additional needs. All three of my children have been diagnosed with autism and the global pandemic of COVID-19 has challenged us more than ever as a family. I know I'm not alone and I know many of you will understand when I say at times it's been incredibly difficult, especially to watch my children suffer and regret. I can only pray and hope that next year is much kinder to all of us and hopefully we will all be able to get together and celebrate in one room. Now let's move on to the awards. is for best use of media. This award is for parents that use social media to share their experiences, whether it's on YouTube, Instagram stories, Facebook stories, Facebook live, Periscope or podcast. They tell things in their own way. And the finalists in this category are Inclusive She, Autism with Love, Makaton with Lucinda, and the nurse mum. And the winner is the nurse mum. Congratulations to the nurse mum. Very well deserved. You use your social media to raise awareness to educate others and you inspire so many and you do it all with passion. Congratulations. Up next we have a blog post with the biggest impact category. Good evening. My name's Cheryl Ward and I'm the Chief Executive of Family Fund. Family Fund is a UK-wide charity providing financial grant support and information to families raising a child with a disability or serious illness. Making voices heard is a key strand of our work 
and to amplify the voices of our families, we encourage and support a community of parent bloggers to share their thoughts, opinions and experiences. This is why we love the BAPS Awards so much, for recognising and rewarding the talented writers. Conversation about lived-in experience is our passion, and we couldn't be prouder to sponsor this next award. Blog post with the biggest impact. This post may have made you cry, laugh or decide to take action, but it definitely stayed with you long after reading it. The finalists in this category are Steph's Two Girls, Everyday Challenges with PDA Autistic, Not Weird, 50 Pieces of Advice from an Autistic Adult Written for Autistic Children Faith Mummy, What My Ten-Year-Old Taught Me About Learning Difficulties and I Am River, If You Refuse to Stop Using This Word then you are no friend of mine. And the winner is... I am River. If you refuse to stop using this word, then you are no friend of mine. When people nominate, they have the opportunity to tell us why. Here's what one nominator had to say about I Am River's post. Such an important topic and the lack of understanding around why it's offensive is huge. Blogs like this bring to life the reasoning behind its offence and helps educate those who may not even have thought about their words and how they affect people. Congratulations Hayley. Your honesty and direction in this blog is brave and beautiful at the same time. Derogatory and oppressive terminology is never acceptable. And through writing like yours, I hope people are learning that vital lesson. Hi, my name's Leah and I'm from My Family Our Needs, the co-founder of the BAPS Awards. Now, each year I have the pleasure of speaking with you all and getting to know you, but I'm usually the one behind the scenes plotting table plans and ensuring that there's enough wine on the table. So please forgive me if I fumble over my words as I'm really new to being on camera. And I suppose being new and doing something new means it's only right that I'm here to announce the winner of the newcomer category. Now, just as the name suggests, this award is going to a blogger who just arrived on the scene and is shaking things up and bringing new things to the table. The finalists in this category are James, Life After Premature Birth, No Magic Wand UK, Spark Sensory and Positively ASD. And the winner of this category is Spark Sensory. One of the comments we received about Spark Sensory is as follows. It's rare to see people dedicated in making a difference in their community with so much passion and enthusiasm. Helen does just that. A huge, huge congratulations to Helen at Spark Sensory and to all of our finalists. Up next is the Truth About Send category. Good luck. I'm Stephen Bayliss from Irwin Mitchell. I'm an Associate Solicitor in the Public Law and Human Rights Department, specialising in education law. I and the firm are delighted to be sponsoring this award and to be part of this amazing event for another year. Our fourth award of the evening is The Truth About Send. This category celebrates bloggers who write about the reality of send. Someone who doesn't just share the good times or the bad times, but really tells it how it is and who you can relate to. The finalists in this category 
are First Time Valley Mam, Martha Smith, Parent Advocate, H2AU, The Stuff of Our Life, and Yvonne Newbold. And the winner is First Time Valley Mam. Here's what one nomination said about this year's winner. I love reading her blog, as for me, it's close to home. It's nice to know you're not alone and can always have someone to talk to. Possible help and advice that can be shared. Congratulations for Merwin Mitchell. And up next, we have the bloody awesome parent category. Carly Jones. I'm a British autism advocate and a mum to autistic girls as well as being autistic myself. Multitasking at its finest. I've really enjoyed being a judge for the nominations. Um, however, it's been really tricky because everyone's doing incredible things for many people and I don't really like having to only pick one. Unfortunately, there can only be one winner. Um, and tonight, I'm joining you to announce the award for the Bloody Awesome Parent of the Year Award. Um, it's for someone that doesn't blog, but deserves recognition. It could be a mum that runs a support group, a dad that sets up a, a local inclusive sports club. It could be parents that set up a free school, or just working on the behalf of parents in the background for years. There are five finalists in this category, as the judges just couldn't decide, quite literally. The five finalists are Angela Gorn, Julie Newcomb, Dan White, Lynn Barton and Yvonne Newbold. A hard category to judge, but the winner of this category this year is Yvonne Newbold. received some incredible messages from those nominating Yvonne, who is just one of them. Yvonne is a remarkable, kind-hearted, determined lady who, despite living with incurable cancer and the added stress that entails, has dedicated her life to helping others. She writes amazing blog posts offering advice and strategies for families living with children with additional needs, and in particular, those who have had challenging or sometimes violent behaviour. Avon also runs workshops to help these parents and carers and has also set up an amazing Facebook group online to help others feel less alone. She's a hugely inspirational woman. Enjoy your evenings, everyone. Congratulations, Avon, on being this year's bloody awesome parents. And we're now going to move on to the award for travel and accessibility. Have a great evening. Samantha Rank here. I hope you are all keeping safe and well in these very, very strange times. I'm absolutely gutted that I don't get to celebrate with you all. Um, not only because I wanted to see everybody, but also I kind of miss putting false eyelashes on and getting dressed up. Um, I could do that at home, I suppose. But anyway, I did have the honour of being one of your judges and today i am here to announce the travel and accessibility category now this blogger like me understands the importance of getting out and about enjoying yourself 
seeing the world and feeling like they are part of a community. These bloggers share tips and tricks on the best places to go when you have a disability, which I'm all for because I am very much a girl uh, on the go. The finalists are A Curious Journey, Autism Kids on Tour, The Inclusive Home, and Hard Days Out Made Easy. I feel like I need to do a drum roll. And this year's winner is A Curious Journey. So Lizzie Murphy is the blogger behind A Curious Journey. One comment about Lizzie's blog was that Lizzie's blog focuses on travel and days out for the family with autistic children. Lizzie shares her own experiences with her two boys to enable others to plan family travel as painlessly as possibly, which um, I think is extremely important as a wheelchair user myself. So from me, congratulations, Lizzie, and well done to all the finalists. It really is a, 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 a blog that I would definitely read um, as someone who often feels quite trapped by the disabling world that we unfortunately live in. So these blogs really, really do make a difference. And once again, Lizzie, a round of applause. Thank you so much to everyone. And I'll see you hopefully next year and we can get drunk together or maybe not. One drink. Okay, guys, take care. Bye. Keep up the good work. and I'm the Chief Executive of McIntyre. McIntyre was established over 50 years ago by a fellow awesome parent, Ken Newton Wright. Ken wanted so much more for his son than was on offer from the state at that time. So I really hope that 50 years on, Ken would be proud of the inspirational, ambitious and alternative education care and support that we provide today to over 1,500 children, young people, adults and their families. So on to the awards. I feel privileged to be sharing the celebrations with so many awesome people and we are proud to be sponsoring the Educating Education category. Education is such a massive part of all that we do at McIntyre and at McIntyre Academy Trust. And we understand the importance of recognising those people who go above and beyond and bring hope to children and their families for the future. The fabulous finalists in this category are Isla's Voice, Education on Education, Sensational Learning with Penguin and Starlight and Stories. I'm delighted to announce that the winner is Isla's Voice. Isla's Voice belongs to blogger Gemma Bryan, and we were told that Gemma, Gemma dedicates her life to blogging, attending events, providing support groups, raising awareness, as well as being a governor in a special educational school. So congratulations from all of us at McIntyre. Enjoy the rest of your evening. And I'm now gonna hand over to the community support category. Ashley Duff 
Massey from Certitude. We have been supporting people with learning disabilities, autism and mental health needs in London for over 30 years. We are very proud to be a part of many diverse communities and we know the enormous difference great community support can have on people's lives. As such, we are absolutely delighted to be sponsoring the Community Support Award. This award is an award that recognises those groups who make a difference to you and your family's lives. The winner of this category could be a national group who in turn support regional groups or smaller parent-led groups who meet for coffee or have an online group for support. The finalists in this category are, in fact, the Independent Fetal Anticonvulsant Trust, Cochlear Implanted Children's Support Group, Wouldn't Change a Thing, and Skylark's Charity. And the winner of the Community Support Award is Wouldn't Change a Thing. Here's what was said about the winner. The team behind Wouldn't Change a Thing have done absolute wonders for the Down Syndrome community. They are stomping forward in helping to massively change perceptions around DS. They run campaigns that include children and these are always done in a way that is fun and very much highlight just how amazing being blessed with a child with DS can be. They are awaiting charity status and have recently produced a book featuring children and adults with DS. And for every copy sold, they donate a copy to a setting or to new parents. This is going to do massive things for the community as new parents will be gifted a book that isn't doom and gloom and highlights what an amazing journey they are just starting. They have given me the drive to advocate as fiercely as humanly possible. Such a well-deserved award. Many, many congratulations from all of us at Certitude. And next up is the health and wellbeing category. Thank you very much. Grant here. It's great to be with you. Now, last year I was very, very fortunate to host these glamorous awards, but hasn't a lot happened in the last year. I mean, my goodness, we've all got so relaxed, but it's nice to have the pressure off and it's great to just be yourself. So tonight I'm thrilled to be announcing the winner of the award for the health and well-being category. And boy, don't we need it. Gosh. This award celebrates those who write about health and well-being. This could be a blogger, a website or even a podcast that shares tips, advice or their experiences in the hope of helping others. So the finalists in this category are Coraline and Us, Nurturing Neurodiversity, The Passable Parent and Yvonne Newbold. And the winner of this category is Coraline and us. Liz Ariens is the driving force behind the blog Coraline and us. Here's what was said by one of those nominating her. Liz is the best mum to Coraline and in amongst all that she does to ensure that Coraline thrives and flourishes, Liz makes the time to celebrate, share and enlighten people with all that she's learned in her life and all that she learns from her days with Coraline. I believe that her writing is honest and uplifting to all that read it 
and it can help others to see the beauty in life. What a lovely thing to have said. Congratulations to you, Liz, and to every finalist involved in this category. It's time to hand over to the last category of the evening. Bye. Hello, what a fabulous evening and I've enjoyed watching and hearing all about the wonderful finalists and winners. We're so proud to be headline sponsors once again for the BAPS Awards, as well as sponsoring the Making a Difference category. Our final award of the evening is the Making a Difference Award. BAPS began to both celebrate SEND bloggers and raise awareness of additional needs. This category recognises those blogs and bloggers that parents feel make a difference, whether this is in an active campaign style or a quieter but equally needed way. The finalists in this category are PDA Parenting, Life as, a, as an Ambitious Turtle, Stories about Autism and Bethany's Dad. The winner of this category is Stories About Autism. We received lots of lovely comments from those nominating and this is just one of them. I'm an, aut I'm an autism parent myself, and with that you can be very lonely. And to see him sharing his life with his two boys on the spectrum makes you realise that you're not alone. I get ideas from his posts and I get reassurance that there are good days to come. Social media can be a lot about fashion, buying clothes, etc. And to see him using his media platform to other parents, I admire. Congratulations to Stories About Autism and all the other winners. It's always a pleasure to be with you and I'm so pleased that despite there are so many restrictions on our lives that we can be together this evening and celebrate. So a really big cheers to you all from me and Choice Support. Enjoy the rest of the evening. Bye. Huge congratulations to all of the finalists and the winners. I hope you've had a lovely night and had fun celebrating with your families at home. And I'm really excited to announce that I will be joining you in person next year as your host. I look forward to meeting you all at the BAPS Awards 2021.